one thing you got to look out for when you get married, and this is for the the people that have not gotten married. If you've gotten married, you know what I'm talking about here is relative stealing stuff. Because oh. you, you put all this money into, and not just necessarily relatives, friends too. You put all this money into centerpieces and decorations and that sort of thing. And at the end of the wedding, as people are leaving, they're taking them with them. They'll take your centerpiece. They'll take the little things that you put up on the wall. They'll, some people walk out with like picture frames. Like if you've got picture frames <laughs> at the bride what? and groom. I've seen that happen. It didn't I happen at my wedding, but I have seen it happen. I tried to take the centerpiece from the bride's mother's table. She goes, hey, you that's mine. You did that as a lark, though, right? No, I was drunk. <laughs> I was going to say, if you've had too much to drink and you walk out with a little piece of uh, a little piece of your friend's wedding, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not theft. It's love. <laughs> now, there is a, there's a group on Facebook, and it's super popular, and it's called That's It, I'm Wedding Shaming. And it's people just complaining about things that happen at wedding. Of course. At weddings. And TJ sent this to us this morning and said, how me is this? The, the, the headline is this, bride angry after guest loads 10 Tupperware containers of food from the wedding. <laughs> 10. Ooh, me. <laughs> she said, um, I guess that um, the, the guest brought seven containers to take food home, three containers for dessert, and plus swiped a few of the floral centerpieces. And the bride made sure to point out that the woman was not struggling financially and instead just wanted to bring things back for other family members, as in the ones that you couldn't afford to invite. I love it. Because what are you going to do with that food otherwise? You're just going to throw it out. I I, I kind of see where TJ's come from. I mean, the food isn't going to be used. And is this like a buffet style kind of wedding? It have to be, right? Are yeah. the two of you defending this? How are can Are the you two not? of you really br- defending bringing 10 things of Tupperware and before leaving going, hey, all right, see you later. And then we've got this Tupperware full of stuff. Don't ignore us. Well, Adam. obviously you would fill up the Tupperware before you give yeah. your goodbye kisses. <laughs> You maroon. I just, Adam, I don't know what it feels like to be wasteful as you. Yeah. You know? <laughs> hey, the Wait. planet's dying. Yeah. Better throw out all this wow. food. Maybe the bride and groom were taking it home because they just spent a billion dollars on a wedding and they need uh, groceries. Chicken for the next 20 days? Sure. Yeah. Listen, there's a way to do it, okay? And the way to do it is to say, hey, are you okay with this? That's how you do it. You don't just go ahead and do it. It's their wedding. So you come in, and maybe you have your Tupperware in the car. Because listen, I'm cheap too. I get it. You're I get really it. cheap. And we did our wedding on a budget, and we didn't have centerpieces and stuff like that. Because really, people are going to walk away with this stuff anyway, and also centerpieces are dead within a week. Okay. Wow. They are. They're, okay, like, they're like live flowers. They're dead within a week. Yeah. Food's so, bad within four days. So what you do is you go to them and you say, hey, listen... A couple people at home would love to try it. Do you mind? I bet this bride wouldn't mind if they'd ask permission. But no, you two just show up and take the food. Let me ask you a question. Somebody brings in donuts to the workplace. Mm -hmm. They say, hey, everyone, have some donuts. And then you go, I'm going to take a donut home. Do you have to ask their permission? (laughs) If they brought it in, you go, hey, you don't mind if I steal one of these for later, do you? You don't do that. Yes, you no, do. No, you don't. Stop. Get TJ, up your high horse. TJ, don't worry. I, we have been aligned this whole time, but that is not the same. <laughs> you know what? It's not. Triple nine, double nine. Tell me I'm right. Yeah, you won't get anything there. <laughs> <laughs>